dumbbells, barbells, squat racks, cardio equipment, all that stuff can be very, very, very expensive. In this video, I wanna give you some alternatives to that, some things that you should maybe consider to bring into your garage gym that aren't as pricey, that you can get conditioning, a nice physique, build some strength, build some confidence and whatnot. First thing I wanna talk about is sand. Utilizing sand can be extremely beneficial. Obviously, you get some play sand, you get some real sand, whatever sand you wanna get, beach sand. You get a bag and you put the sand in it and then you have a sand bag, like this Titan Fitness one I'm sitting on. Their Titan HD sand bag is gonna be their strongman design. Built for strong men, but if you're gonna try something, try it in your garage gym. We don't have to be a strong man to get this type of equipment and get some good effective use out of it. I like to do some throws over the shoulder, pick it up, do some holds, some walks, some step ups, some squats. Other options that they do have are gonna be one with handles. They're a little bit more elongated. You can throw it onto your shoulders. You can do step ups that way. You can do walking lunges and different swings and stuff like that. Literally companies like Go Ruck the company is built off the fact that they have so many different kettlebells and different things with sand that they utilize. So such a great option to go with. Again, if you're gonna try something new for the first time, why not try it in the comfort of your own home? Very high conditioning pieces of equipment, but also again, like this 100 pound one I'm sitting on, it's, I'm doing five, four or five reps. So for strength building, compound movements and stuff like that as well. So the next one's gonna be kettlebells. I don't think enough people get a lot of good use out of kettlebells. Great versatility, great for swings and working through different planes of motion. Would highly recommend kettlebells, very functional piece of equipment. Usually the circumference of the handles is a little bit larger, so it's working on your grip strength. There's a couple different options, cast iron, competition style, one steel, one's cast iron. They also make adjustable ones. Great for the home gym. I mean, if you look on like Instagram, you'll see some kettlebell guys that are doing these crazy different flows and sequences and so heavy kettlebells. I had one kettlebell, a 40 pound one from Rogue for a long time that I got a lot of good use out of. I got reps adjustable kettlebell on the way, so I'm excited to use that. And you'll see a review on that soon. Um, but try kettlebells. This is something like I didn't use a lot of kettlebells in the commercial gym. But now that I'm in the home gym, come to find that like functional hit style training is very effective when you are trying to motivate yourself and working out by yourself in a garage gym. So check out kettlebells. Titan Fitness also makes great kettlebells, budget friendly options. Axle bar, I love my axle bar. I have a short stubby axle bar from Rogue, so it's like a five foot long bar, which is great for a small space. I can move it around, I can do spins, I can do walking lunges and stuff. I don't gotta worry about it hitting the wall because a lot of barbells are seven feet, so the stubby axle bar is great, but the axle bar itself is very cheap because it's basically a thick pipe. It's like a short fat bar, or an, you don't have to get the short one, but a fat bar so it works on your grip strength. It doesn't have all the fancy technology like bushings that help the uh, sleeves to spin and whatnot. This is basically, like I said, it's just like a pipe. So works on your grip strength. You can still do some of the same compound exercises, but you can find them for like a hundred bucks, which when you wanna get uh, an actual barbell, those are gonna be like 200 to 300 and higher. I would consider an axle bar great for pressing. It's easy on the wrist and works on your grip strength. I mean, I guess technically it's another like strong man piece of equipment. What you see hanging behind me is my heavy bag. It's a hundred pound heavy bag. Again, I have very minimal actual like training um, when it comes to like kicking and throwing punches and whatnot. But uh, I love this thing. I get a lot of great conditioning work out of it. You can do timer rounds and stuff like that, or you can just wail on it like I was doing earlier today as hard as you can, but safely, obviously. So there's so much good content out there to help you, teach you, learn how to throw an actual punch so you don't like hurt your wrist. Grab yourself some hand wraps, grab yourself some gloves, and start wailing on a heavy bag. Just stay moving, stay bouncing, learn how to throw a good punch, build that confidence, feel good about yourself, get some aggression out, and get some conditioning in too. If you use this right, 
you're gonna get some great conditioning and cardio workouts out of it. Underutilized, like I said, 100 pound heavy bag, which is a pretty heavy option for a heavy bag. It was only 100 bucks. This was a great deal from Title Boxing. Soft strike, so it's like easier on your hands too. The weight is, stays evenly distributed. Some of the old leather ones, they sink to the bottom. But with new technology and new ways to fill heavy bags, that th doesn't necessarily happen. I would definitely consider getting like a heavy bag. They have other styles, wrecking ball shape shaped uppercut bags. I would consider it, it's fun. Like I said, I'm learning all this stuff as I go. So sandbags, kettlebells, boxing, all this stuff is new to me, but it's a garage gym. I'm comfortable in here. I'm in the comfort of my own home and I'm doing things that are uncomfortable. I'm learning new skills, I'm learning new things, I'm learning new ways to train to better myself. So check out a heavy bag if you haven't ever done it before. Um, it's a great option for cardio and just again, building confidence and whatnot. And then the last thing I'm gonna put, cause I use it almost every single day, is just light dumbbells. I have threes, eights, and twelves. It's not expensive to buy cheap dumbbells and you can get a lot of good workouts, change the tempo, do high repetitions, weighted punches, step ups, and plyometrics, and all these different good things that you can do with a light set of dumbbells that are very effective. Some people utilize them as a warm up, or you can utilize them as a full on workout. Light dumbbells are very underrated. Everybody wants heavier 100 pound dumbbells, but the light ones do a lot of the work and will will help you with longevity and keeping you healthy. And these are just a few different things to consider that aren't as expensive as some of the bigger ticket items like a 100 pound set of dumbbells, a barbell with weight plates, and a squat rack. So these are just some alternatives I wanted to give you. 